Nom 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 Oh no! No, Prince! Let's go, Princess! And welcome to another episode of Reckless Eating Shorts, aka We Shorts. Matt Zion here. We had people asking for more Domino stuff, because that's like that's the one pizza place that we've kind of ignored in terms of fast food pizza reviews. So I ordered a bunch of stuff and I'm finally getting around to a pizza. Believe it or not, this is the first pizza I believe I've ever reviewed from Domino's. I've always just reviewed their sides or their desserts, but we're gonna be doing a pizza. So this is the Domino's Extravaganza pizza. And uh, this has robust inspired tomato sauce, extra cheese, pepperoni, Italian sausage, beef, ham, black olives, green peppers, mushrooms, and onions. I had the onions taken off because gross. And it has a, a garlic seasoned crust. I got this thin crust style because I was really curious to see if their thin crust is good. Uh, Lori has gotten me into thin crust as of late. They stack it. Like there's so much crap on this, it's kind of ridiculous. Only negative is that because they stack it like this, I feel there's so much stuff on it that it cooled down really quick. It's already kind of cold. Uh, it's only been sitting out there for about maybe 10-15 minutes, whereas uh, any, like their competitors, Pizza Hut, Papa John's, whatever, I feel like they would be warmer for a little bit longer, but that's probably just this specific type of pizza. But either way, let's try it out. That's good. The green peppers really stand out, but in a good way. Mmm, great flavor. Now, the only thing I don't like about it is the actual pizza crust. It's just, it just kind of reminds me of microwavable pizza. Like, it's a little soggy. It doesn't really have a crunch to it. Um, every time I've gotten a thin crust pizza from anywhere else, it's usually a little rough. Like, they, it, it gets very crunchy. And in this, I just, I kind of just feel like it's just, I'm just chewing right through it. The flavor-wise, excellent. I love all the toppings. Everything tastes really good. The green peppers stand out the most, but the sausage is also pretty apparent. It's not surprising, sausage usually does that, which is why I generally have to be in the mood for sausage, because it dominates so much in terms of flavor. But the, the negative, it's just, it got cold really quick, where the sides that I reviewed didn't. I mean, they're still warm. And the fact that it just, it needs to be a little crunchier, because it's, it's quite, quite mushy. <laughs> I would rate this pizza, a low four. I know that some people might disagree, but I think the texture of the pizza is really important. I'd say it's almost as important as the actual flavor, and it just it, it fails in that category. But toppings and everything on it are pretty damn excellent, and I think that that bumps it up at least to a four. But I'd still say I would still rather just get Pizza Hut. If I'm gonna go fast food pizza, I think Pizza Hut's the way that I would go. I'm still yet to be incredibly impressed uh, by Domino's from their pizzas, I guess, because I've had their pizzas in the past and I never really thought much of it, but their sides are really good. Like, if you want to know my favorite thing from Domino's, it's their chicken, uh, their specialty chicken that they do it is delicious. Uh, they, that's what they call it, specialty chicken. Uh, they have the classic hot buffalo, the spicy jalapeno, and a uh, pineapple, and the sweet barbecue bacon. I tried all three of those. You can search for reviews on the channel. Those are awesome. Get those. Those are really good stuff. But what are your thoughts on this pizza? Let me know in the comments down below. And what is your favorite specialty pizza to get from Domino's? Let me know as well. And thank you so much for watching. We'll see you on the next episode.